Okay, let's finish this discussion of water and now look at H2O as if the oxygen has four hybrid orbitals. So as always, we'll start with oxygen with its four uh, standard atomic orbitals, an S and three Ps. And if we need to make four hybrids, we're going to have to miss our, mix our S with three additional P orbitals. So we got to use everything at our disposal. And that gives us four now sp3 hybrids. sp3 hybrids because they're one part s and three part p, sp3. These are now, uh, to avoid confusion, this is four orbitals go in, four orbitals go out. So this, this atom will still obey things like the octet rule because it has four orbitals and you can put two electrons per orbital. So four sp3 hybrid orbitals. Again, to uh, draw these pictures, sometimes it's easiest to recall back to previous uh, examples that we've seen. So, methane, CH4, we drew like this. And we said, yeah, here's methane. It should have a bond angle of 109.5. And it has a geometry of tetrahedral. To get ammonia, as an sp3 hybridized atom, we simply replaced one of the CHs, and I'll do the top one, with a lone pair. This is also sp3 hybridized. We said ideally this should be 109.5. We saw experimentally it was more like uh, 107. And we said this is trigonal pyramidal as its geometry. A geometry to do water well again we'll simply take uh, methane and we'll keep uh, on the oxygen two of the hydrogens and I've chose to keep the ones that are drawn in the plane and that means these groups that are uh, coming above and behind the plane these are going to be our lone pairs so I'll try to draw one darker and I'll make the other one dashed Kind of make it poke behind that one, uh, the one that's in front of the plane. And there are two lone pairs. Ideally, this should, if it's sp3 hybridized, should have a 109 and a half bond angle. And the geometry is defined by the orientation of these atoms. And um, they have a bent orientation. So just as we saw with sp2, which had a bent geometry, this also has a bent geometry, although a different bond angle, 109 and a half. So, what is the experimental bond angle in water? It is, drum roll please, please, 104.5 degrees. And remember, we saw, we've saw we seen three different hybridizations of water. For SP, we said the bond angle ought to be 180. For SP2, it should be 120. And for SP3, it should be, as we've shown, 109.5. And the experimental value is 104.5. Therefore, we'd say, oops, that's the bet that's a match best with the sp3 hybridization. And therefore, we say the best hybridization picture for water is indeed sp3 hybridization. That's the same conclusion we came with ammonia. Uh, we got it with ammonia as well, where we had multiple possibilities. So, in general, when you look at atoms that have a lone pair, the lone pairs prefer to have hybrids. And that gave us sp3 hybridization for water as the best match to experimental data, as well as for ammonia. So in general, the lone pairs want to reside in a hybrid orbital, so you include that, those lone pairs in the count for your hybrid orbitals.